Know that the IBS Academy is here to educate you and to teach you. I invite you to look around and get uh, acquainted with Dr. Murphy and I. Results that you get when you start healing the gut is incredible. And use the recipes and learn about our program and reach out with any questions that you have. We are here to help. Hi guys, Cassandra Hope here from the IBS Academy. I am a co-founder of the Academy, a registered holistic nutritionist, and I also am the reason we decided to open up the Academy. I suffered from SIBO myself for a really, really long time. And using our 12-week gut restore program, I had to do it three times, but using that program is what is has now allowed me to be SIBO free. And I do these videos to really share my story, share my inspiration, answer some tough questions surrounding SIBO and some easy ones, and really just allow you guys to see what we're doing day in and day out here at the Academy to help people with IBS and SIBO. So today's video, I'm shooting from where I do my food photography. It's one of my favorite places in my home studio because I have all of my plants here. I have some dried flowers. I have my beautiful white marble area, which <laughs> is not actually the color of my countertops. Uh, my whole kitchen is black. And I've just developed this beautiful little sanctuary for you guys, for Instagram and for food and inspiration. So I thought it would be to shoot today. Um, so today's topic is on how do I find out if I have SIBO? So a lot of times practitioners will diagnose based on um, symptoms and there are specific symptoms for people, common symptoms for people who are suffering from SIBO and the most common ones are constipation, chronic constipation and or loose stool as well as lower intestinal pain, inflammation, uh, bloating, distension in the gut, food intolerances, etc. But we don't always want to just rely on symptoms to diagnose SIBO for a few reasons. One, we want to know how much of an overgrowth you have in the digestive system because this will help us to understand how long of a journey towards healing do you have potentially. The higher the overgrowth, the more times you're going to probably have to go through the program to address SIBO. So each round of our program will bring the overgrowth down by 20 parts per million. And that's how we measure SIBO in the gut is by parts per million. So when you do a uh, lactulose breath test, this is the gold standard for SIBO testing. This is the best way to be able to determine A, how much of an overgrowth do you have of SIBO, if you have it and what type of overgrowth, uh, overgrowth do you have? So is it methane-based um, gases or microbia? Is it hydrogen-based microbia? And there's also a third one, which is hydrogen sulfide microbia. And that one, uh, unfortunately, we're almost there, but science isn't at a place yet where we can test for that. So if you have hydrogen sulfide as an overgrowth in the gut, the test will flatline. And that in itself is almost a diagnosis because most often we will see some elevation of gas in the results, um, even if you don't have SIBO. So a hydrogen sulfide flatline test, it, it also gives us some, some information and insight. So I always recommend doing a SIBO breathalyzer test. And yes, we can administer that or um, requisition that through the Academy. You would just follow the link below in the video to learn more about the test itself, how much it costs, and what's entailed with doing it. And then once you find out if you have SIBO, then that's when you want to contact us to uh, find out, potentially contact us to find out if you uh, want to do our 12-week gut restore program. And this is where we use um, specific foods at specific times, as well as nutraceuticals, so supplements, herbal-based uh, supplements to help improve the microbiome, and stress management, which is, I would say, equally important as the antimicrobials and, um, and the food part of the program, because stress is just such a massive contributor to poor gut health. And the more I learn about it, and the more I learn in myself about it, the more I become an advocate and a voice for stress management. So it's a big passion of mine to be able to share 
the insight that I learn about stress management so that you can overcome SIBO and live a life free from digestive upset because that is the goal. Follow the link below. I would love to hear any questions about the SIBO breath test. Um, I can tell you about my experience with it, what to expect, how to prepare, and what we can do with the information once we get it um, in terms of creating a plan for you to overcome SIBO, okay? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I look forward to hearing your questions. Talk to you soon.